All right, it's time for another edition of the NCAA 08 simulation on the PS2. This time, it's Ohio State in Tulsa. If you remember last week, simulated Ohio State, Oregon. And I keep saying the simulator doesn't lie. And I mean, it did have Oregon scoring 35 points. So technically, it was right. You know who wasn't right, though, was this guy on the 11 Warriors forums who posted this comment in response to the simulator video. Yeah, how the f*** did that one work out? But really, thanks to everybody at 11 Warriors for their nice comments about the video. And I do need to point out that the simulator also had Ohio State not getting any sacks in that game. And what happened? So what will it have for the Tulsa game? Let's find out. Ryan Day in real life has been talking about structural changes to the Ohio State defense. And I made some in the game by putting Court Williams at safety and Kayvon Pope at linebacker. And it looks like more of the same here on the first drive, but then... You've all been asking for changes, something exotic. Probably the most exotic thing that could happen happens on this play when JT to a Malowal drops in coverage. Look at the range with the pick there. That's the would be the first interception of Ohio State's actual season. And he hurdles that dude too. That's nice. I want to see that in real life. The offense doesn't do anything with the ball, but that's a good omen, right? But then on Tulsa's second drive, they get another chunk play. Imagine how restless the real life horseshoe would be after that. But then in a more likely scenario for an interception, Denzel Burke picks off the pass. He's actually been playing well in real life. Also, you might notice a camera angle change here. I messed up the glitch I found to get the camera angle to change on these simulations, and so it had to be like this for the rest of the game. But anyway, Chris Olave, two plays. That's too sweet down the sideline. That's a touchdown. Ohio State's up 7-0. Listen to the boys right here and subscribe to twostripecpd.com. Then on Tulsa's third possession, what do you think happens next? We've seen two interceptions, and that's right. Not only do they hit the quarterback, you're allowed to do that, they get another interception. Cam Brown with the pick. That's three picks for Ohio State's defense. Ryan Day, hire the simulator as your coordinator. We will take far less money than Kerry Combs. And then on the next drive, C.J. Stroud has heard enough of your shit about him not being able to run the football. Picks up two first downs there, and then with a nice little play-action bootleg, floats that one up to Garrett Wilson, and it's 14-0 Ohio State. And then on their next drive... They give the jet sweep handoff. The game loves this call. We saw it with Marvin Harrison in the week one simulation against Minnesota. This time it's Julian Fleming. And you might say to yourself now, I've had enough. The simulator is unrealistic. I can't take it anymore. You know what is realistic? Ohio State's defense not setting the edge and being nowhere on this running play because Tulsa running back to Eric Prince takes it 67 yards as everybody on Ohio State's defense is trailing. Yeah, did that one look familiar? We saw that a couple times against Oregon. I'm telling you, the simulator knows, man. It also knows that Mayan Williams can break off a long run as he shakes a couple Tulsa defenders, then runs through one to put Ohio State back up 28-7. to And you know what? The changes on the defense, they're working out because those dudes are flying around. They're making plays. Big hit there. They turn Tulsa over. And then, oh, Oh, oh my. Well, you know, they're not wrong. Then we get another big play from Stroud to Olave to put Ohio State in the red zone. And I said it before, I'll say it again. C.J. Stroud is sick of hearing your shit about him not running the ball. Showcases a little power there, 35-7. to And then to close out the half, Denzel Burke with the second pick of the day, the fourth for Ohio State in the first half. He's styling into the end zone. And it's 42-7 to Buckeyes as we head into halftime. That means I don't have to spend a lot of time talking about the second half, so here's a quick rundown. No Ruggles field goal? Good. Ohio State's defense? An actual sack. Would love to see that happen on Saturday. I'm pretty sure we're going to see C.J. Stroud to Garrett Wilson, and then again for his second touchdown of the game, and at this point, I had to actually pause the game and manually go in and pull the starters. Virtual Ryan Day was out for blood, so now we see Kyle McCord's first action as an Ohio State quarterback. Two nice chunk plays there, and then just the same as C.J. Stroud. He gets his first touchdown on a running play, but don't start up the quarterback competition talk too soon because that's a pick six and something for 25% of the fan base to say, I don't understand why our quarterbacks with no previous experience aren't as good as Justin Fields was. But the rest of the game is pretty much a best of Kyle McCord, another long completion, and then would you believe this? Not only does McCord have another rushing touchdown, but it's the third time Ohio State's used this play to score a touchdown in this game, which sounds unrealistic, but we literally saw it happen to their defense in real life last week. I swear the simulator knows. It just knows. Ohio State wins this game 66-21 to over Tulsa. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to do Bama and Florida, but... 
technical issues. So I'll be back next week with two videos, Ohio State Akron and Wisconsin Notre Dame, which should be a lot of fun. If you enjoy these, please subscribe to the channel, subscribe to twostripecpd.com, and I'll holler at you next time.